from 60 to 64. If they really need to apply for comprehensive social security assistance, <coughs> they belong to those people who are underprivileged. Even though they are not uh, very ill or they are not handicapped, they must face some kind of problems, either in their personal life or their family life, that they may not be able to uh, look for a job. That make them fall under a situation which is very difficult. So we are talking about this group of people. And for this group of people, if you take away one third of the subsistence allowance, uh, which equates to uh, uh, about 1,000, which may be a lot. So um, actually, I, as well as uh, Business and Professional Alliance, we are always um, holding the view that we would like to find an interim solution, trying to release the tension between the Legislative Council as well as the government. I don't think the situation, the tension continuing would do good to any party. So I believe all political parties and legislatures would have a very sincere attitude to try to find a way out. So I think the present proposal of the government, although um, it comes a little bit late, is still quite a good solution as well as a practical solution because you can see from the detailed design uh, it is workable within the government and it does not need to come to the uh, functional uh, uh, sorry, it does not need to come back to our financial committee at the Legislative Council. So if we say um, the government uh, put the fire on, they now find ways to put the fire off. And this uh, proposal substantially already cover the net sum of money, which is around 1,000. Now they offer uh, 1,060 which is equal to the net loss for those originally seen as elderly people, now seen as adults, they would not have any kind of um, a, a disadvantage in terms of this lump sum. So I find that um, as a whole, the proposal is pretty good. It does not have a term. It's not a transitional proposal as well as uh, to apply for this net sum, actually the threshold is very loose. So um, basically for this group of people wh whom I believe to be um, a generation of very rational people, uh, they also find it to be acceptable. Although it is not exactly the same as postponing the scheme completely, but I think usually, you know, if you find consensus among different opinions, which are at the far end of two sides. Uh, this proposal as an interim proposal, um, I think is, uh, is quite uh, good. Also, not only the major proposal, it is accompanied with two other small dishes um, on um, the Social Security Assistance Scheme concerning uh, the gratuity offer to the uh, lower level of uh, workers as well as some of the uh, subsidies for NGOs to help those people um, to find work. So all this together, uh, actually it is uh, more than I expected. So um, on behalf of the BPA, uh, I would welcome the proposal and I do hope that uh, different parties could accept it as uh, interim point so that the tension between Legislative Council and the government would be released and things can go on. Thank you.